This book is Adam and Eve. And Grandma's reading to Craig and to Christy. And it's the second day of August. And it may be the last day they'll be here. So we're doing lots of fun things today. Okay? Let's turn the page, shall we? At the beginning of the world, there was a man called Adam and a woman called Eve. They lived in the most beautiful garden you can imagine. It was called the Garden of Eden. And every kind of tree and flower grew there. And but every kind of clothes? animal lived there, too. Oh, they so don't have clothes in that day. No, they didn't have clothes in those days. There were horses and giraffes and crocodiles and cows, monkeys and hares. And there were sheep and dogs and goats and tigers. And a porcupine? Well, you guess so. There were leopards and kangaroos, hedgehogs and foxes, beetles, butterflies, frogs and lizards. There were fish in the river and birds in the trees. Turn. God said to Adam, you can eat the fruit of all the trees here except for the fruit of that special tree, the tree of knowledge. If you do, you will surely die. Turn. Adam and Eve were very happy, and God had told all the animals to do whatever Adam and Eve asked. They could understand everything the animals said, and the animals understood them and loved them. Turn. But there was one animal in the garden who did not like to be told what to do, and that was the serpent. Why should Adam and Eve order me around, he thought. One day the serpent searched the garden till he found Eve alone, and she was making garlands of flowers for herself and Adam to wear on their heads as crowns. Turn. Beautiful woman, Eve. Why do you waste your time picking flowers? Look at that tree with the big golden apples hanging among the green leaves. Why don't you pick one of those apples and eat it? The serpent asked. Turn. God told us not to eat the fruit from that tree, Eve said. He says that if we eat it, we shall die. And the serpent laughed. What nonsense. Your God wants to frighten you, he said. If you ate the fruit of this tree of knowledge, you would know as much as he does, and he wouldn't like that. Turn. The serpent's narrow head and forked tongue pointed toward the beautiful apple hanging low from the tree of knowledge. Go on, he whispered. Taste that apple and see how wise you will become. Turn. I would like to know as much as God, Eve thought. She picked the apple and took a bite. It was delicious. She went off to find Adam. Do taste this apple, she said. It's wonderful. So Adam ate the rest of the apple. The servant laughed. Now Adam and Eve will be punished. They won't be able to order me around any more. When Adam and Eve had finished eating, they felt very uncomfortable. We're different from all other animals who have fur and feathers, they said to each other. We need to cover ourselves up. Let's make ourselves clothes out of leaves. Turn. That evening they saw God walking in the garden and they knew he would be angry with them. Why? Because they ate the apple. They had sinned. So they hid among the trees. But God called out, Adam, where are you? Why are you hiding from me? Hmm? We didn't want to see until we had some clothes to put on, Adam said. Then God was angry. Have you eaten the fruit of the tree of knowledge, he asked. Adam said, Eve gave it to me and I ate it. What have you done, God said to Eve. The serpent beguiled me and I, am, and I ate, 
answered Eve. Turn. God punished Adam and Eve. You must leave the Garden of Eden, he said, and you will have to work hard for your living and grow your food yourselves. So Adam and Eve were sent away. Doesn't look very pretty out here, does it? The animals are here. Okay, you want to turn? In, in, the, in, the, in the persons and the animals are sad, aren't they? Probably. God was angry with the serpent, too. From, uh, from now on, you and your children will have no legs and will eat dust. Ever since Yuck. then, snakes have had to creep along the ground on their bellies. 